so. That was successful. I, I, this is nuts. $10,000. A funny thing happened when we started facing our fears. Our dreams came true. Now we fly into the world's most dangerous storms as hurricane hunters. We own multiple businesses as entrepreneurs, and we have an abundance left over to share with others. We have just one lesson to share. Don't follow your passion. Follow your fears and conquer them with your passion. That's how you achieve big goals. So after last week's catastrophe, we were behind on the kitchen table build and we really needed to get it glued up. It is a sticky day here in Houston. Come on, Bruce. But today is the day we get to glue up this tabletop. We had to go to Home Depot and get some new clamps so that our clamps would reach all the way across. Thought about gluing it up in two sections, but even if we glued it up in two sections, I don't like daisy chaining clamps together. I just need to have the right tool for the job. But yeah, next step is to get this guy ordered in the right order because we wanna make sure the whole table doesn't potato chip over time. So we're gonna be putting in some C-channel and stuff on the bottom side, but we need to clean up these ends, rearrange them, and then we can start to dominate know them together. All right, so now we need to arrange them where the grain is alternating so that the table doesn't warp one direction over the other over time. And the way you tell that is see how this looks like a smile? It's like a U shape, the rings are going like that. And then this one, the rings are going the opposite way. They look like rainbows. So you see smiley face, rainbow. That's what you want. You want smiley face, rainbow, smiley face, rainbow. Not smiley face, sad face, smiley face. Nope. Sad face, because nope. that, that makes sense. Nope. All right, so before we get ahead of ourselves and make a mistake again, I'm gonna number all these pieces so we know which order they go in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we just decided that we're gonna do this in three different glue ups so we can plane each. Do you have to scratch yourself right now? I'm trying to talk to the camera. All right, so I think we've decided we're going to glue these up in three different sections so that we can run each section through the planer because one of these boards is really bowed and we wanna make sure that we straighten it out with dominoes and everything and get it plain, nice and perfectly smooth before we try to do a gigantic four foot wide, nine foot long stressful glue up. So I think that's the plan. So now we gotta take the three glue ups that we made and we gotta put them through the plater so that they're nice and smooth and we only have two glue seams to worry about instead of eight.
We tripped the breaker. It took 19 and a half inches on the planer being dug into the cutter head. Now we should be good. We've got 10 minutes from the first application of glue to get this thing in clamps in its final position. So it's kind of stressful. Oh, that one was much easier. Yeah. All right. So we checked the moisture content of the wood and we verified that it was ready to be assembled. I'm about to leave for two weeks and go fly atmospheric rivers off the west coast of the US. It's one of the missions that the hurricane hunters do and Jenny just did it a couple weeks ago, but now it's my turn to go fly through these winter storms. So it's really important that before I leave that this tabletop is glued up, sanded, finished, chamfered, sprayed, everything about it is ready to go. The tabletop needs to be completely done. That way when I come back, I've only got about a week to finish the table base, get assembled and delivered. Their attention, it's written all over your face. I don't want this to tabletop is so heavy. I had no idea. I can barely lift it. This is nuts. I've never built anything this big or this heavy before. Got it out of the clamps. It looks really nice. It is dead flat. Still gotta put C-channel in the bottom just so it doesn't warp over time. <laughs> now I gotta figure out how to flip this thing over without hurting ourselves. Jenny. I need you to help me lift it over. Keep me from dying. Not sure if I want this. You oh, don't think so that I know this. <laughs> this is like giving you space. I don't want to play the quiet time when I'm near you. Pretending that I don't know. Now is the time to install the C channel into the bottom side of the table. We've got to route out the grooves. I think this is three eighths or half inch thick C channel. And uh, yeah, that's gonna help keep the tabletop from flexing and moving over time. Okay, so now I have to be really quiet because Jenny's doing an Instagram live with somebody kind of important who wants to buy boards. So I can't use the router and keep putting C-channel. So I started unboxing our uh, our new finishing tent. It's just one of those pop-up portable display things. It's got walls, so it'll keep the finish contained. It's just, this is a temporary solution until we can afford a actual downdraft spray booth, uh, which will go back here. But until then, this is what we're gonna do. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at how this thing goes together. You're supposed to have a partner, but obviously that's not gonna fly. In lieu of a partner, I did look at the instructions. So I did cheat just a little bit, but only because I don't have a partner. So I have some good news. While I was out there being quiet and doing silly things, Jenny was in here making money like a Hello. boss babe. That was successful. What'd you do? You just um, sold how many boards? 30, yeah, I just sold 30 boards. And what does that mean for the month? That means that we officially made over 10 grand this month. This is the first time that we've like actually gone over 10 grand. There's been a few months that we've come really close. We've like almost broken 10 grand and then on the 31st, I'm like, dang it. 
but I think <gasps> this calls for celebration. I'll I clean it up. It. You'll clean it up? You pop it. Pop it right here. That's Do a desk pop. Do a desk pop. Who knows that reference? Tell me down in the comments. Three, two, one. Ah! It's the first month we've made 10, 10 grand. grand. <laughs> and you want to know the best part? We have a three grand head start on next month because that's when we'll get the rest of the payment for the kitchen table. Because we only got 50% down so far. We got to get final payment on that bad boy. So it's really important for us to celebrate these milestones because there was a lot of time and hard work that was put into achieving what we achieve. And the same goes for you. If there's something that you're putting a lot of time and hard work into, make sure that you stop and take time and celebrate everything that you've done. But don't spend too much time celebrating because that just means that you're doing something right and you have new problems to tackle and new achievements to unlock. And for us, that means that more work is on the way because the more sales I make means the more work Davis has to do building and the more continued work that I have to do to keep making sales. So it's really important that Davis gets this tabletop glued up and ready to go on time. Back to the giant finishing tent. Uh, I need Jenny's help to finish popping it up. So uh, that's what we're gonna do now. That'll be a nice place to finish. I agree. I don't know why, but you look like a club promoter, like a club manager. Smart table company. This is club, club finish. Club finish, oh my God. <laughs> it's club finish. Where are you going this afternoon? I'm going to the club. At noon on a Friday? Yeah. Yes, that new one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the C channel is in. It's got plenty of room on both sides to expand and contract with the tabletop. I've elongated the holes so that the screws can move around freely in the C track. It looks really nice. This table is not gonna flex or move or go anywhere anytime soon. We also alternated the grain direction. So even as it expands and contracts, should be totally fine. Just waiting on a little epoxy over there in the corner to cure and then we can sand it at 120 and the bottom will be done. All right, so. I'm gonna level with you. It's crunch time. I gotta get this tabletop done before I leave today. The top needs to be chamfered. I need to sand it again. I need to flip it over, sand the bottom side, and then we can spray finish it and seal it. Three coats, both sides. <laughs> oh my gosh, we got a lot to do. Also, for those of you that are wondering, scrap bin is getting pretty full. Got lots of white oak. We got a lot of walnut underneath this and then maybe a cutting board or two. So link in the description, you can buy our scraps uh, for those of you that have trouble getting to a hardwood dealer or- Ship it right to your front door. Yeah, we will. All right, so while the water is drying on that, so we can pop the grain and sand it ultra smooth, that just helps us not have to sand so aggressively between coats of finish, because we use a water-based finish. Um, we need to get the spray booth set up. It's got some walls that go around it, so we need to Velcro those on and get this thing ready to spray. Let's go. All right, so we're out of time and out of patience, which means we normally cut corners, but we're not gonna cut corners on the project. We're just gonna cut corners in the shop. Normally we would put plastic down, we'd have the walls up and everything else, but I can't be bothered right now. It's just, we need to spray this we and get it get done. We gotta get this done. It was a long afternoon, but we finally got it done. Table's finished. I'm so happy with how it turned out. It looks gorgeous. Once again, I don't want to give this to the customer. I want to keep it for myself, but that just means I did a good job. Um, pat myself on the back. 
Why don't you? <laughs> uh, but man, don't you like it? Doesn't it look good? The coloring is just so nice. But anyway, I can't wait to make the table base. That'll be next. But between now and then, I have to go fly through winter storms. Yeah, it'll be fun. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Why are you yawning? Cause it's like 8.30. Are you tired of me already? No. <laughs> See, Just I can make tired. puns too. Mine are better though. So this was a crazy week, but we got it all done. And I know you see us doing this in a big warehouse, but everything that we're doing is exactly what we did when we were running the business out of our own house. We're making sales and building things the same way we did when we were working out of the garage. So if you wanna learn how to start a business out of your own house using all of our shortcuts and maybe even get ahead of some of your neighborhood competition, go to mybasementbusiness.com and you can get our new program. This is where we share step-by-step -step how we started two businesses out of our own home. Use discount code LOYALTY for an additional 25% off the already discounted price. We want to make sure our loyal viewers get it cheaper than everybody else. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan.